gonna make a new episode of another different game. This is my first time playing Lake Street. So, yeah. Okay, how do I go? I never talked to you about. So surreal. called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Story. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. What Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And for shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? You're asking me? L let me think. Um... You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s on. Look at this crap. 
How can I show this to the Mr. Jefferson? Sorry, Max. No more selfies right now. You can find out all about him. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste... Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift-wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? Excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. So shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. I only want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch-up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. She always does. Don't worry about her. She's bad. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You always Welcome to the real world. cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture to bring I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. American girls, it's sad to I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. I hate bully jock straps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. It looks like she's been gone for months. Good thing I left my AK at home. AK? I wish I had. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. But, oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame.
It looks like she's been gone for months. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Mess up. Me. I don't know what happened in this game. Okay. <sighs> I just noted that my favorite gets complete this game. It's just crazy. relax. Stop, Stop torturing, torturing yourself. yourself. You have a okay. gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the... What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, Shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why are? Go, Victoria. What? What? <laughs> reverse time. What? I did it. Can you give I me actually did it. Photographer who perfectly no. captured the human time machine. What we got? Powers? Anybody? I don't know. Max, Diane, still the same Diane. stupid picture. There you go, Victoria. Keep it together, Max. Wowzer, my old broken camera is new again. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. And frankly, it's bullshit. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. 
I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured... I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not gonna get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Hey! Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, the Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named yeah, Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Thank you. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? is so far way ahead of everything. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That girl needs your help now. You have just by participating. By putting yourself out there in the world. Now, no matter who wins. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's... I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. He should have thought... Go on now. Don't let me stop you. No! No! Yeah, no matter who wins... This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. 
Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that lo I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. Why would I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Yo, Daniel, you remember that it's payday? I know you don't. I hate that science class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down. Tell me what to do. I I'm need so a hammer to break it open. People trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a- Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the no. girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. 
Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've no. only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please? No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. This day has been so insane. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. This is a great image. All those rippling green coins. I hope everybody... I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. I could go for a burger now. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to thrash? Oh yeah? Bring it. What's your first move gonna be? Uh... Jump? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. We're done talking. You're too sketchy. We're done talking. You're too sketchy. Obviously can't go there. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. 
If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip. Nope, I don't want to go there. Yes, we do. You can't, do it. can't go that way. That's so cool that Blackwell is doing a show of Mr. Jefferson's work. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus, he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would def oh, definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, what? I heard that from a good source. Um, interesting. See, you learn something new every day at school. Like I said, you have a lot to learn. Max, see you in class. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd rather not, Daniel. Not that I don't want you to. Never mind. I guess you would be too ashamed. Now, I have to get back to my drawing. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. It makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way. You're a good substitute, Muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. We had that pitch gone. Look at Ashley's room here. Clever. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can <laughs> own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. Somebody needs to take that prick down. He'll take himself down. 
Yeah, history always proves that, right? Just wait for justice, you sheeple. I need to go there and grab Warren's flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. Dude. Oh. Hi, Max. What are you reading? Love today or die forever. Don't oh. even say anything. It's a bestseller. What to say? Good point. Now, if you'll excuse me. I feel like Alyssa and I should be better friends. Oh, shit. There's Victoria and her mean girls. Oh, look. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> nice, okay. Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. That's the first and last time I expect to hear that. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? There goes Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. Nice. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. There's only one way around this. Okay, let's see if this works. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Sam. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve?
What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Oh, Samuel, I'm sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. Victoria. What do you want, Max? Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. But there'll be another. Yeah. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and... and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Au revoir. No. Victoria probably played me. You a girl? You start, you start off a girl. I need to get the oven with the two boys. Hey? You a girl? Hey? No, it's time. I'm reversing time. Why are you reversing time? Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Room 217? No way in hell am I ever going in here. Juliet, extreme reporter. This girl must have been popular. She... Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. Going around, Josh. Could be fun. Thanks for the warning. At least that's an alarm from this century. Give me a fucking break. Huh. 
Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Daniel has so much talent. Daniel. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this. Lauren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Who's Dana? You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. What? Baby mama? I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of the October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. <sighs> I finished my book. <sighs> it feels so nice to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre, and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Just come here. Let me show you something. Look at what I You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. How do we end? This is so stupid. Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. You are ridiculous. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? You're supposed to be going all night. I mean, I mean, for, yeah, you're all week. Juliet Watson. Oh. Ah. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Dane is still a cheerleader at heart. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. Ugh. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Juliet, extreme reporter. As if.
Welcome to Black Hill. Leave me alone, Max. Get a clue. I should find a way to end this silly standoff. No need to go there now. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. <laughs> I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Let's play a little photo Tetris and leave Victoria a message. Let's move this here. And this one there. Hmm, a pattern is emerging. That's mean, but she earned it. I'm not letting her out until she tells the truth. No reason to go now. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Horse. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. 
Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost Wait, done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Those boots are made for walking runways. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. And, yep, yeah, this is both sad and pathetic. It would be a cool sticker without the words. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. <sighs> I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max. Oh, bye, guys. You're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. What do you mean? Oh, nothing. When you opened the flash drive, didn't you see the special folder called Max? Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Better rewind. Get lost, hipster. I'm fuck this shit. Ow. I could almost feel sorry for him if get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I don't want to talk to this thing. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews.
Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I always get a little giddy when I think about having my own room here. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. No, I could get there. Hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. I could rewind and try something different. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I'm right back, guys. an everyday hero help I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. Okay, okay, guys. I'm gonna end it here now. If you wanna see another, so if you wanna see another part three, no, a part two of Life is Strange, give me like a thousand likes. And by the way, peace.